Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame. So we have blue sky breakout, all time highs, no resistance in sight. But what's that? We got one resistance in sight. The upper Bollinger Band on the daily and weekly time frame. Look where we rejected from today. Upper Bollinger Band on the daily is 214.02. We topped out and pulled back there on the weekly, 213.48. And we topped out and are rejecting from there. So it is a bearish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. It is a bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly. We still have four days left, so that can obviously change. But after this extremely strong Brexit bounce, consolidation is absolutely necessary. So we are looking at a pullback. We'll be looking at 211.42 as support. We saw the signs show up on the hourly time frame for SPY. And again, in these videos, I keep highlighting the hourly, and that's because it is some essential information. And we saw the weakness show up. Let me show you here. We had SPY very bullish let's look at the two days here including friday riding the exponential moving average support extremely strong we had a bearish reversal candlestick to start the day it was negated bull showed up in a big way hit new highs this right here bearish reversal gravestone doji this is when i started paying attention because we had a bearish macd cross on the verge of happening we were trading pretty much parallel with these two lines here so we bearish reversal gravestone doji this tells me start paying attention doesn't mean sell bullish positions doesn't mean go in on bearish positions just means start looking for more signs so we had another doji following it a third doji in a row still holding exponential support but at this point i'm saying okay i'm not liking the risk to reward of going bearish or going bullish i should say at this point after such a strong brexit move brexit bounce that is and this right here is when we saw the weakness and it showed up on the five minute chart so i saw on the hourly chart to start paying attention and then the five minute chart started this downtrend. Once that hourly bearish reversal candlestick formed, we started forming lower highs and lower lows. So then I pick out some key levels. Let's see where we see resistance. 213.97, 213.96, 213.98. This right here was a bull move on high volume. And the fact that we couldn't set a new high of day and the fact that we set a triple top at that 213 upper 90s level you can see the reaction here on increasing bearish volume. This right here is straight up profit taking from everybody saying, okay, the market couldn't hit a new high of the day. We came close. That was all the bullish momentum we could put in. Didn't happen. We're taking our profit. And you can see the bearish reaction for the rest of the day. And we are looking for some weakness to carry through into tomorrow. We're looking at the 200 period, five minute support of 213.21. We're looking at the hourly 20 period support of 213.13. Look at how much room to the downside if we lose this support. $3 drop. So we know the markets are bullish. We know we hit all-time highs. That's all well and good. But we're not going to disregard the signals, the bearish reversal candlestick on the daily, the start of some weakness in the hourly chart, and watching for a key support test early tomorrow morning, this 20-period moving average. So I appreciate you watching. We will check back in as always. Have a great night.